Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Havakakwadash. Double honors to the other apostles, great millstone, rule and teach well, and honors and salutations to the men of the Lord, bringing out this word in truth, making their bodies a living sacrifice, all right, and enduring until the end. All right, just a quick uh, sit down, you know, just going into repentance, all right, and, um, that's one of the things Yahweh Bashmael Shah have his prophets out to do to what to bring good tidings, you know, bring this uh, gospel, which is good news to the elect of the nation of Israel in these times. OK, to repent. All right. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. All right. Breaking these scriptures down, um, <clears throat> you know, letting our people in repentance, which. You know, I got that in the scriptures as well. It's only given to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and, and uh, Native Americans who are the 12 tribes of Israel. All right? That's who repentance repentance is given for. All right? It's, that's, you know, th thus said the Lord. All right? <clears throat> and in these last days, uh, you know, we bringing out prophecy. The fact that we're living in the end times, the last days. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. We're living in the end of an era, the end of an age. I heard the end of a rulership, okay? <clears throat> all right? And according to the signs of the times, all right, we understand Yahweh Shah, who the world falsely and ignorantly called Jesus Christ. That's not his name. All right, his true name is Yahweh Shah, all right? And his uh, the the scriptures give you his skin color, his depiction. All right, he uh, if he was walking around today, you know, uh, the so-called white man will call call our Lord a nigger. Okay. All right. So uh, just we bring out these prophecies. All right, and teach what repentance. Okay. <clears throat> and that's what this grace period is for. Time for uh, that remnant to repent and be. Uh, brought back to you how about Shemel Shah before the Lord uh, cause all hell to break loose on the planet Earth. All right, society is about to collapse. World War Three is about to uh, kick off and be on a major uh, scale. Okay, it's about to be pure D chaos, pandemonium, terror, perilous. All right, evil is is you know basically apoc uh, uh, apocalypse. All right, you know just uh. And that's what that word, when you go into the, uh, in the Greek, Revelation in the Greek, it goes up into uh, apocalypse, apocalyptic, all right? And so like if I said it wrong. But let's get into the lesson. Um, I might not get all my precepts, you know, as I was getting these precepts together, I probably grabbed about, um, about 10 to 15, 10 to 15, and that's how the spirit be, you know, but Lord willing, depend on how, if I'm long-winded or not, if I'm going to be able to get all these scriptures. But let's start off with this one. This Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, uh, chapter 17 and 25. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. All right? That's what's required for us to get salvation. All right? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. All right? If you don't do this, you're not going to survive. All right, the Lord is not going to take care of you in these last days. All right, <clears throat> your enemy, the so-called white man, and um, two-thirds of our people that's against the Lord and his word, all right, they're going to prevail over you, okay? They're going to prevail over you. Uh, any Anything that can go wrong will go wrong, all right, and your life will be overthrown, and you will be destroyed and in ruin, okay? If you don't uh, uh, return... All right, repent, forsake your sins. All right, return unto the Lord, forsake thy sins and make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health and hate thou abomination vehemently. All right, and that's what, that's what we're supposed to do. Come out of darkness into his marvelous light. All right, <clears throat> you know, keep keeping the law, statutes, commandments. All right. Obeying his word, all right, and uh, uh, cleaving to this knowledge, this truth, all right. <clears throat> you know, the scriptures say, Blessed those that what read and understand these prophecies, all right. 
Because the day of the Lord not going to catch uh, the ones paying attention like a thief in the, uh, thief in the night. It's not going to catch us like a thief in the night. And the Lord willing them of that uh, holy like number. All right. It says, who shall praise the most high in the grave instead of them which live and give thanks? All right. <clears throat> you know, so you can't praise the Lord uh, when you die. All right. When you die, in, uh, it's, it's too late. All right. It's too late. All right. You're going to be up there in the spiritual world, up there with the heavenly father. You're going to be in your right mind. You're going to be like, damn, when I was on the earth, I was wicked, you know. So, yeah. All right. You're going to be in your right mind. OK. So. Um, <clears throat> so to not die. All right. And not suffer the judgment that these people of the world is about to get. All right. Uh, you got to repent, forsake thy sins, and make thy prayer to Yahweh by Shemal Shah in their true names. All right, the true names is very important. Let me wind up my windows real quick. <sighs> Make sure we're still rolling. All right. <clears throat> Let me get the next preset. All right. So this um the second Timothy two and nineteen. All right. <clears throat> so like you, uh two and twenty-four. All right, second Timothy two and twenty-four. And it reads and the, the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach and patient. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if Yahweh Shemal Shah peradventure will give them repentance to the knowledge, to the acknowledging of the truth, okay? And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by his will. I mean, captive by him at his will, all right? So, yeah, it's our job to rightly divide the word of truth as prophets of the Lord. All right. <clears throat> and, um, you know, the most high, he's going to get an increase. All right. We're just watering. We're giving you this word. And uh, it's up to you, how about Shemal Shah, to open up your minds to be able to receive this truth, this knowledge. OK, so it says what? If Yahweh Shemal Shah peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and they, uh, and that's it, that's it, all right? So, yeah, it's about repentance, okay? <clears throat> and the time is short. This grace period is almost running out, okay? And I ain't go over this topic, and I, 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 I always speak on it at camp, but I ain't really do a sit down and just get the precepts. It's been a, uh, it's been a minute. The Second Corinthians 7 and 10. For godly sorrow work of repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorry, um, so, so like it, but the sorrow of the world work of death. Right. You know? So you should feel sorry for, you know, um, you, you should feel sorry and repentful, have a repentant heart of, you know, disobeying uh, the Lord, disobeying Yahweh by Shemal Shah. You know, when you hear this knowledge, this truth, you should, you know, that 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 sorrow that you feel. All right. Um, it, it should make you it should basically uh, make you jump, jump into action. All right. OK, what I got to do to make things right? Like the scripture say, offend less. OK, so now you're it's it's basically motivating you. That's that um, feeling that you're getting is motivating you to do right. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to do this no more. I'm not going to do that no more. All right. Now you're trying to uh, do that, which is well pleasing to you. How about Shemal Shah? OK. So let me read it again. For godly sorrow work of repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world work of death. 
Yeah. The people in the world, when they be sorry, you know, they might, the people in the world, they be sorry for not because um, they're sinning against the Lord, but they be sorry for different other reasons. And that's, that's depression or that, that sorrow that they feel, it caused them to do crazy shit, you know, commit suicide. Um, you know, they probably off their girlfriend because she cheated, committed ad adultery, you know, all type of shit, robbing banks, you know. So it, the people of the world, when they're feeling sorrow, all right, they tend to do um, irrational uh, things, daredevil things, all right? <clears throat> Which what? A work of death, all right? So this is a different type of uh, sorrow, that godly sorrow, all right? That's, that's good sorrow. You have good sorrow and you have bad sorrow. You have good sorrow that basically motivates and inspire you to do right in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. All right, I'm not gonna do that no more. I'm gonna cut that out. All right, I'm not gonna hang with these guys no more. I'm gonna cut that out. You know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, I'm gonna start keeping the law, statutes, commandments by uh, through faith. All right, because <clears throat> it starts with faith. If you don't have faith and truly believe uh, believe in Yahweh Bashem Al Shah and believe in the scriptures believe in the prophecies, believe that we're truly uh, going to be delivered and saved and inherit the, the different planets, uh, the chariots, the new bodies, et cetera, et cetera. All right. If you don't truly believe it, your work's going to show it. OK. So it says, uh, for behold, this self same thing that ye sorrowed after a godly sort, what carefulness it wrought in you. Yea, what clearing of yourselves. Right, cause yeah, you're gonna you're gonna um you're gonna get your house in order. You're gonna get your uh, earthly temple, and also you're gonna get your life together. Okay, you're going to get your life together when you come to the knowledge, the acknowledging of the truth of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. All right, for the elect, the whole elect, they're gonna get their life together. All right, <clears throat> it's gonna be a, this this. This godly sorrow is going to um, motivate them to, to do better, to get better spiritually, all right, and get preparing themselves for the return of, of our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, all right? Yahweh is going to send, Yahweh the Heavenly Father is going to send Yahweh Shah back to the planet Earth with the host of the angels, and they're coming back in the so called UFOs to take over the Earth, all right? So the whole field, like, they're getting themselves prepared for Yahweh Shah's great return. Okay. So it says, um, "What carefulness it wrought in you, yea, what care, uh, what clearing of yourselves, yea, what indignation, yea, what fear, yea, what vehement desire, yea, what zeal, yea, what revenge, and all things ye have approved yourselves to be clear in this matter." That's right. So it's going to force, you're going to want to be clean. You're going to want to be clean spiritually in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. All right? You're going to want to do the things with haste. All right? The Lord is going to put that zeal on you. All right? And brothers uh, know what I mean. You know, whenever, uh, especially when you first came into the truth. All right? And the Lord put that, that zeal on you. All right? Uh, and you're just you're studying real hard. You you know you you on fire in this truth, you know. <clears throat> All right. So let me see. Uh, that's it. All right. Um. It's X. Acts 3 and 19. Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Right. All right. So you want to repent and be converted back to this knowledge, back to this truth of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah and doing what thus said the Lord uh, commanded us to do. All right. <clears throat> According to, um, I think that's John. No, Matthew 4 and 4. Let me get that. 
All right, this Matthew, Matthew chapter 4 and 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh. That's right. All right, and that's how you got to move. Okay? All right. Um, get this precept. I can read it from here. This Luke, Luke 13 and 3. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Right. So the only way you're going to survive these times that we're living in, all right, is by repenting, returning back to the Lord, calling upon their true names. Yahweh being the name of who the world called God, and Yahweh Shah being the name of who the world called Jesus Christ. And that's not, not his name, all right? If you're not calling on those true names, all right, in sincerity and truth, all right, in fear and trembling, if you don't truly have faith in those names and you're not having works to go with it, all right, you're, you're going to perish. You're going to perish, all right? So it says, uh, let me see, do I want this one? Bear with me. Uh, I did want to speak on that one. Uh, basically saying the same thing. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get John 15 and 3 and Matthew 3 and 11. All right. And, um, close out so this is john john chapter 15 and 3 now you are clean through the word which i have spoken unto you right in these last days um you don't um in these last days being baptized in literal water and uh fluoride uh water all right chloride water whatever chemicals they putting in that motherfucker you know um being dipped in that water physically and literally is not going to um cleanse you cleanse you all right it's not going to cleanse you in these last days and that's not how the lord sent out his true prophets in these last days all right now nothing's wrong you know elder apostle tahar tackled that topic nothing's wrong you know uh with that but that's not how you're going to receive the holy spirit in these last days all right you're going to receive this Holy Spirit by what? John 15 and 3. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Okay? All right. So in these last days, Yahweh Shemuel Shah has his true prophets, true teachers, true men of the Lord, what? Teaching you the scriptures. Break, rightly dividing the word of truth. Here a little and there a little. Line upon line. All right. Precept upon precept. Okay? And what is happening is the Holy Spirit uh, is, is ascending, um, not ascending, uh, descending on the whole field. You know, and, and they're what? Being converted and becoming believers in Yahweh Bashem Shah and changing their lives and repenting. Okay? Because Christians, Christians, they really think uh, they can just dump themselves in water, you know, and that's it. Then they're, but they're they're not renewed. Their mind is not cleansed. You know, I mean, yeah, if the person ain't take a bath in three days and you just baptize them in some literal water, all right, they're physically they're cleaner than what they used to be, but mentally and spiritually their mind is still the same. They're still eating, they're still eating pork, uh, shrimp, crab, lobster, and crawfish. All right, they're still going to these Christian churches on Sunday, all right, all manner of wickedness, okay? It's still gossip and mess and fuss and division in the household. they still not keeping the law, statutes, commandments. And so, it's so much more, all right? <clears throat> so in these last days, you have to be cleansed through the spirit of your mind, okay? Um, let me get this one. Uh... I ain't gonna read it. I wanted to read all of it, but I'm, I'm gonna just jump down to the point. This Matthew, Matthew 3 and 11, it says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. All right? He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. All right? All right, which is this word in adversity. All right? Because not only... 
uh, is you being baptized with the with the uh, with the words was this truth. All right, the Bible being taught to you correctly. All right, and now you really gaining understanding from the scriptures. But also, the Lord is going to purify you by putting you through. Uh, adversity and you're suffering for righteousness sake that's going to purify you too as well okay uh, I'm going to get one more close out this Romans 12 Romans 12 and 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh by Shemel Shah that's right renewed through the spirit of your mind all right, <clears throat> you got to unlearn what you learned in the world and relearn this truth, this knowledge, okay, and live accordingly. All right, so Lord willing, that was edifying. Check the time, okay. Lord willing, that was edifying. Want to end it and give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Harakakwadash, double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone, rule of teach well, and honors and salutations to the men of the Lord, uh, bringing out these words and truth, and during it to the end. Making our bodies a living sacrifice, and to the families of the men of the Lord, wish your shalom as well.